Hey you guys, what's good? Welcome back to NBA God Game TV. Thanks for tuning in. You guys, I recently found a very old videotape called Dazzling Dunks and Basketball Bloopers. I don't know, some of you guys actually might remember that video, but there was Daryl Dawkins just smashing the backboard into thousands of pieces. And that actually gave me the idea for this video, because there were a couple of NBA players who did that. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at NBA players that broke the rim. But before we start with this video, if you like this video, like us on Facebook and subscribe to my channel, it's really appreciated. And I would say without any more blah blah, let's get into it. We are going to start off our list with Shaquille O'Neal aka The Diesel aka Shaq Attack. When Shaquille O'Neal entered the NBA, he was already feared by his opponents. And it didn't help that with his first interview with Ahmad Rashad, he broke the rim. Which didn't stop him from breaking the rim in official NBA games. That guy was a monster. Let's take a look. And then as Scott was starting, Bowie was coming off the bench as oh. he follows and almost and does bring down the entire oh. backboard. How strong is he? Well, I think this backboard company will attest to it. Behind me is the new structure that they are rolling in. They are going to replace the entire structure because of the shack attack on the last rim. Hill puts it on the floor. And stops anybody! Goodness. I'm just glad he wasn't hurt that time. I mean, that thing came straight down. I he mean, brought the whole thing down. Well, it broke off right on the on the fans there, on the hinge there. Look at this. Unbelievable. There was a foul on the plate too, but that's sort of incidental. Well, the foul was on Dwayne's. <laughs> so he'll... Com vocês, na quadra, check. And the next player on our list is Daryl Dawkins, aka Chocolate Thunder. If we talk about Daryl Dawkins, we not only talk about the fun-loving personality, but also one of the best in-game dunkers in NBA history. That guy was such a tenacious and powerful dunker that he even frightened his teammates. Let's take a look at Daryl Dawkins breaking the rim twice. Such a psycho. Glass went everywhere, and Robenzine was under the basket, and he was trying to get out of the way. He was running, and uh, Daryl, Daryl was in shock. First thing I was thinking is, oh man, I got to get out of here. All this glass is coming down. I was like, he don't fail me now. I remember that was pretty scary because I mean, even when you see that in slow motion. I mean, you see all this glass just coming down. That was very dangerous. The game wasn't televised by anybody, but it was across the street from my TV station. So I went over to my cameraman to shoot some highlights and uh, do some post-game interviews. This is what's left of the Philadelphia 76ers backboard. And I know this has to be a disappointment to you and to all the fans. Well, it's uncalled for. You know, it didn't have to happen, but that's Daryl Dawkins. When you look at that bench and you see the one guy jump over the bench like he was coming to the bench like he was in like a monster. Like, this guy just broke the backboard. I don't want to go near him. He actually wrote poetry based on shattering backboards and glass flying, Robenzine crying or something. Glass breaking, boom. I think that kind of broke him into a habit. Because <laughs> he almost broke his back that time. I know they were telling me to do it. I stopped. He changed the way they build backboards and rims. Are you, are you, are you kidding me? And the next player on our list is Kevin Love. Way before Kevin Love entered the NBA and played for the Minnesota Timberwolves, he broke the rim in a high school game. He was a senior back then, and nobody heard of him, but that video went viral. So here I see Landon Ainge is defending the guard, who's having a tough time handling the ball. So I creep up, steal the ball, go up for the dunk, and boom. There it is, shattered glass. 
What was going through your mind? Man, I don't even know. I, I kind of broke the glass and kind of was a little bit stunned. But, you know, after that, I just kind of stood there and I was just like, oh, my God, I just broke the glass. This is always something I've always wanted to do. And, you know, it was just really crazy to me. It was kind of, you know, kind of a shock at first. But afterwards, it just kind of felt great that I put that flush down and, you know, broke the backboard, shattered the glass. And it just felt great. And, you know, people were you know, kind of bowing down, running up with their phones, taking pictures. So, you know. Afterwards, I just kind of, you know, took a bow to the crowd and walked off and said, you know, game over. And we got out of there, signed a few autographs, and went back home and had to, had to play the game. And the next player on our list is Chris Morris. Usually on such a list, you would expect names like Charles Barkley, Karl Malone, Vince Carter, or Sean Kemp. But Chris Morris is a special case. He was never known to be a great dunker. But on one night, playing against the Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan provoked him, dunked in his face, and Chris Morris got mad. In that game with the Knicks, Stark was fined $5,000 for that today. Take George in trouble, puts up the prayer, batted out of there. Oh, nice play by BJ. Oh, look at Michael Jordan's jam. That play, every time I get used, I think I'm used to Jordan, I see that. Morris was going to contest it, and Michael said, uh-uh. So the fans got their money's worth tonight. Michael got a poster play. <laughs> watch this. Well, Petrovich gambles and loses, and watch Morris. Bulls back by 10. Tate George with a hard drive to Morris. Oh, yeah! They still trail by eight, and Doug and I are going to get a whole lot of... Uh, and this is what we call the rain delay in baseball. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they say, keep filling. Keep and the next player on our list is Jerome Lane. Never heard of him? Well, you should. Check this video out. Big Monday on ESPN from the Big East Providence at Pittsburgh. A standing room only crowd has turned out at the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse as the nationally ranked Pittsburgh Panthers taking on the Providence College Friars. And a lot of people are asking the question, Bill, does Jerome Lane need to score more for Pittsburgh to be a Final Four team? And the 6'6 junior from Akron, Ohio, number 34, Jerome Lane. Delray Brooks, the key, of course, as Bill mentioned, and we're underway. Smith and Steve Wright, the tap. Fitzgerald was crazy. Fans were ready to go. First minutes of the game, I think both teams were trying to fill each other out. It was just a, a simple steal or a loose ball. I picked it up. And, you know, on a three-on-one, I think one of the things you learn as a point guard is you look and you choose your, your better finisher. Burt, a little trouble. Now they loop it in. That's right. Nobody's home. Picked off by Miller. All of a sudden, a fast break takes place. And Sean Miller, the choreographer for this team, uh, comes over the timeline. I know if he gave it to him, I was going, you know, dunk it. Lane's on the other wing. Oh! Oh! When Jerome broke the backboard, it literally sounded like someone throwing a brick through a huge glass window. Mike finished the call, and I'm sitting here, and I'm going, this is incredible. Over the years, uh, guys have used different ways of describing a dunk, and it just made sense to say, send it in, Jerome! The game was delayed. I don't remember exactly how long, but it seemed like an eternity, 20, 30 minutes. They were live on TV forever. They're gonna get the backup backboard into place in Pittsburgh. Now, don't go away. Even though Jerome Lane has thrown a major uh, monkey wrench into the entire scheduling of a major network this evening with that broken backboard. You know, I played many years, you played in the NBA. My legacy is just to dunk. And the next player on our list is Blue Edwards. Some of you guys might remember him. He was a decent NBA player and always known to have forceful and powerful dunks. Or at least we'll bring down the backboard. And the next player on our list is Michael Air Jordan. Back in the days, Michael Jordan was always known for many spectacular plays. And of course, MJ was also a great dunker. But did you know that Michael Jordan once broke the rim at a Nike exhibition game in 1985? That video popped up 10 years ago on YouTube, so check it out.
Hey, and thanks for watching this video. We really hope you enjoy our content, and if you like to support our channel, you can do these things. First, subscribe to our channel and click the notifications button, so you will always be up to date when we upload a new video. And also check out our Facebook page, you will find the link underneath the video. Likes are very appreciated. Thanks a lot.